Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. It has been a while. I do have my coffee. Um, I just want to come say hi. I'm still here. Um, if this video is a little green, I have no idea. I, honestly, I'm not green. I'm just, um, these are Lorna Taylor's handmade journal, uh, Taylor made journals. I got some of her stamps, the words, and I'm having a ball of them. So I'm just going to show you I just um, what I do with them, or what I'm doing with them this week. I'm stamping them on cardstock that's been coffee dyed outside. I'm going over them with a little uh, ground espresso. And then I'm going to hit them with a little Kirsch Flamingo, if I'm saying that right. Just a little, because, you know, we need more pink. We all need more pink. And then I'm taking... An envelope that I coffee dyed with the doily. And let's, let's just hit it with just a little pink because these are really, really grungy. Just a little. So how's everyone been doing? I'm here slowly but surely. I, I knew July was going to be bad because it's both our birthdays and it's a big function. On our America Days parade that my husband absolutely loved. So I knew this month was going to be bad. I <laughs> just didn't realize how bad it was going to be. Because I really, I'm just going to cluster as I talk. Really stayed in bed. I had everybody over Saturday morning for the parade because it comes right by our house. And um, right after everybody left because I, I just went to bed. I went to bed all day Saturday and all day Sunday. I figured I'm just going to ride it out because I can't hide it. I can't hide from it. So that's what I did. And by Sunday night, I was ready to get up and uh, got one of my grieving books and started reading it. And that helped. That was what I went through. It was a process, <laughs> according to the book. Can either feel it or hide it, and I don't want to hide it because I want to carry on here. So that's where we're at. So yeah, I kind of like that, but I might sew that. It's like a, I would sew it like, and then just because it's so grungy and I like the pink, I'll get some twine, and I'm going to separate it. Hope everybody's kind of enjoying your summer since we're halfway through it. And I'm just separating it just to give it some more, more curl and more, I don't know, I just like them. Some of them separate nice, some of them do not. And then I'm just going to make a bow. And just probably um, something like that. It'll be an envelope like that. This is the other one I just need. It was laundry, so I figured I had to have some lace. And I'll do one more. We'll do a. Vintage markets. So anybody been doing anything new? I really have not watched any videos. Oh, I do have to show you something that I did. Um, haven't I? Well, I talked to Maggie. I haven't done anything yet in a while.
Ooh, still not lemonade. Where did my paint go? I just had it. Ah. All right, so we we'll use worn lipstick. Oh no, there it is. And just hit the top. You can hit the middle if you want. It depends on how much pink you want. Or blue, I mean, you can do blue. Next one, I'll do blue. Because you can see how quick. And then if you don't, you don't have to put fabric under it. You can just put, um, here's some ledger paper I still grew on. Let's see. Ledger paper, you can do whatever you, whatever um, comes your way. Am I putting a little bowl on it and stuff, or whatever you like, it makes it your own. Because we all know I like bowls and pink. all my stuff downstairs my dining room table but it got to be too much so I had my grandson help me yesterday hold everything back up here and so now I got my little spot on my desk but it's comfortable and just this I might add some more stuff um See what's on my desk here. Oh, we could do this. I'm just kind of squish it on. And then, because I'll probably use these as a set, I will put some more twine. This one I think I'll do. Okay. Let's see about this one. There. So you can do them all. Anyway, you can. Lorna, I just love these. They have that one. I mean, that make a cute little set. This one, Mercantile's not done yet. But. So, those are, those are cute. <clears throat> Let's do one in blue. Oh, I will have to show you guys, show you one thing I did. My birthday was Saturday, my 60th birthday. That's why it was, everything was just so hard. His birthday was Wednesday, so I went on Wednesday on his birthday, and I got my first ever tattoo and it's a broken heart the little flower is represents me and the words they're there or joe because he always like even when my my dad died he would um he came up and like patted me on the shoulder they're there and i would look at him and think is that all you got and we just started laughing and it was like that for <laughs> we've been married 38 years um, that everything was going to be okay, even when he was mayor, when, you know, when things got bad or something, we were there, there, I mean, it was just something that I thought about six months ago, and, because my girlfriend says, oh, make sure you, you know, if you want it, make sure it's going to be meaningful to you, and, um, I was thinking about it for six years, and we made the appointment on his birthday, because I thought that was fitting. And I'm so glad I did, because I absolutely, it does make me smile. Every time I look at it, they're there, they're there. It just makes me smile. So, I'll let you know in a year from now if it's still making me smile. 
But it's on there now. So. So this is a little chipped sapphire. Hmm. That looks too gray. I want the blue to pop. Let's see. What's this? Blue bird sketch. I don't remember getting half of these. So, so that's what I'm not. I'm just working. Trying to do things in the house, trying to get things, I hate to say it, winterized, but there's so much I don't know about. I have to find out and do. <clears throat> it's a lot. I do know a lot of our friends, married friends, are, are cleaning out and their basements and stuff that they keep putting off because everybody collects way too much stuff. So that's um, oh, that might be a pretty one. We'll use this pretty lace from Miss Esme. I did have um, one of my family that came over yesterday for a redo on my birthday party. It didn't go well. Um, got um, ordered a new internet um, service and equipment, and we got that set up. So I'm hoping the next, hoping next time me and Meg are live, I'm a little clearer. Should be it's supposed to be more powerful. So we'll see. That then it's just my house in my area. In the internet. Picture I'm not in front of <clears throat> So guys, that's about it. That's what I've been doing. I love making envelopes because I don't have to think too much. this over here just a little bit. Mm. I'm liking this. Huh. Alright, we're going to have to play with that some more, but I got to get going because I got to go to work. So, stay tuned. I'll be back. So these are just envelopes with tailor-made journals, stamps, the words, and that's, that's what I've been doing with them. So you guys have a lovely day, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.